I'm going to say action and maybe inaction during your presidency and the last few years um, sort of, you know, was a little disturbing to me. You know, what uh, happened during January 6th um, and the fact that, you know, you waited so long to take action while your supporters were attacking the Capitol. And you had... Uh, hundreds of thousands of people come to Washington. They didn't come because of me. They came because of the election. They thought the election was a rigged election, and that's why they came. Some of those people went down to the Capitol. I said, peacefully and patriotically, nothing done wrong at all, nothing done wrong. And uh, action was taken, strong action. Ashley Babbitt was killed. Nobody was killed. Uh, there were no guns down there. We didn't have guns. The others had guns, but we didn't have guns. And uh, when I say we, these are people that walked down. This was a tiny percentage of the overall, which nobody sees and nobody nobody shows. But that was a day of love from the standpoint of the millions. It's like hundreds of thousands. It could have been the largest group I've ever spoken before. They asked me to speak. I went and I spoke. And I used the term peacefully and patriotically. If you have trial by combat. All of us here today do not want to see our election victory stolen by emboldened radical left Democrats, which is what they're doing, and stolen by the fake news media. That's what they've done and what they're doing. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's death involved. Our country has had enough. We will not Take it anymore, and that's what this is all about. Cruiser 5 to 50 be advised, uh, Cal Police 1 advised, they're trying to breach and get to the Capitol. But that was a day of love from the standpoint of the millions. It's like hundreds of thousands. It could have been the largest group I've ever spoken before. They asked me to speak. I went and I spoke and I used the term peacefully and patriotically.